Olympic champion Stephen Nedarosik and Riley Arnold. Plus, check this out, a healthy diet to beat aging. All next on Live. <laughs> show everyone I said it 2024 I said it I promise <laughs> she's used to me saying the wrong year <laughs> harder than it looks yes it is harder uh, so I, I've got big, to it. big news you think you have problems <laughs> a woman with a rare double uterus gives birth to twins now a lot of women here in the crowd. Uh, you know, uteruses are touch and go. <laughs> They're hard to maintain. They seem like a body part that is willing to turn on you at any time for any reason. Yeah. Imagine being blessed with two. <laughs> Count them, two uteruses. And then a rare occurrence, both of her uteruses <sighs> Uh, became, are you okay? Yeah. You're gonna faint? <laughs> uteri, the uteri, uteri, the uteri, uh, delivered twins, a boy and a girl. Okay. Okay, that's that? good news. Yeah. There they are on the yeah. side. Okay, that could be anything, Domin. <laughs> that looks like you're showing me pelvic bones. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, she lives in China, and uh, she w gave birth at the Xi'an People's Hospital. They're calling it a one in a million occurrence. She should play the lottery. Yeah. Yes. A hundred percent. Very rare for twins to be conceived naturally in each... <laughs> close your ears. In each cavity of the uterus. Oh. Um, <laughs> she had two cervix cervixes. And two uteruses. Yes, that's how a uterus wow. works. It has the surface. <laughs> well, that's how, yeah, I understand. I'll, I'll draw you pictures of no, all I of this. No, I get it. I, I get it. I'm an expert. Uh, hey, you know what today is? It's, it's World Smile Day. Oh. Yeah. The first Friday of October is World Smile Day. Um, the history of World Smile Day is in 1963, Harvey Ball, a graphic artist, an ad man for Worcester, Mass, uh, created the smiley face symbol uh, we've all come to know. Uh, and here it is. So cute. That, right? So cute. And now we know it because it's, I mean, it's not the exact one, but all the emojis that yeah. we have. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, I've got to tell you, one of the things I love about you the most is your dynamite smile. Thank you. you. Dynamite Aww. smile. Thank you. It should have, it should come with a sound effect. I think it does come with a sound effect. Yeah, I think it does. Take a look into a camera. There you go. To celebrate. You want to try, Kel? You want to try it? No. Yeah, come on, try it. Come on. <laughs> Sound is I think we need to hear Art's, Art, yeah, Art. Yeah, let's hear yeah, Art's side for that. One more time, Kel. <sighs> <laughs> the rip a smile. It's a new trend. <laughs> that's, the, that's the new trend. <laughs> I told you Dr. Analek told me that the reason I get crow's feet, he's like, because you smile a lot. He's like, oh. you are a smiley person and you smile and you laugh a lot. And he's like, and the result of that, you know, is, our, pro, uh, is yeah. our crow's feet. And so now I'm like, fine. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hey, a junk dealer's wife hated this horrible painting that was in her house. She hated it. She was sick and tired of it. Turns out, guess what? It's a six million dollar Picasso. Wow. 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 This is why every time you encourage me to throw things away and toss things away and get rid of things, and I'm like, what if it's valuable? And you're like, it's not. And I keep thinking, it Maybe could it is. be the $6 yeah. million dollar Picasso. 
Yeah, I'm glad. Th and he um, says, did she throw it our out? kids' handprints from kindergarten is not the six million dollars. <laughs> so she didn't throw it out. No. She got it looked at. She got it looked at. It, it, was an, it was an old painting. It was hidden away for decades because she hated it so much. Wow. And they were junk dealers. So this was wow. like junk that they were dealt. <laughs> That's why there's treasures hidden amongst us. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got it, you know, you know they say one man's trash is another man's treasure? Yes. Sometimes the, tr the trash... I like those shows where that yes. guy has a watch and does, he's had it forever and doesn't know what it is and, yeah. how, and then he takes it to get um, appraised and it's like... Right, it's like... You know, and they start crying. Yeah, they start crying. It's life-changing. Life-changing. Life-changing, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, uh oh one oh. in three children worldwide is now nearsighted. Wow. Oh, we've done this before, and I know why. It's the cell, cell phones. Yeah. Cell phones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not nearsighted. I can't see. Everything turns blurry when I get too close. I know. You know what's so funny? Mm. So Mark and I, uh, if you don't know, we used to work together on a soap opera many years ago. We were in our early 20s, okay? And, you know, when you're on a soap opera, everything, like, is a love scene between two people. And now if... I'm if going cross-eyed. I know. If we had to act out... If we had to act out now what we had to act out then, we would not have been able to do it because we would not have been able to see each other. Right. <laughs> So that's the opposite. This is that myopia is is nearsightedness. Correct. What's farsighted called? I don't know what that's called. Farsightedness. Old, is it? old age. Old. old. <laughs> yeah. Old. It. Yeah. But it ha it happens overnight. It happens overnight. Like I didn't need glasses, and then like I could see in the dark, and then now it's just like I can't I, see anything. I remember when I got reading glasses because I actually needed them. And then Mark thought my glasses were cute. So then he decided to get glasses because he too needed reading well, I had glasses. I one eye that was weird. I put them on and I go, these are fake glasses. These are prop glasses. <laughs> they literally put clear glass in glasses. I know. And then glasses. when I put you, I had a very, very light prescription. But when I put your glasses on, I, I can't see a thing. Now. Are they perfect? They're perfect. <laughs> That's You're bad. 10 years behind I know. me. You're 10 years behind I know. me. Um, we've got a huge show today. Kate Winslet is here. And from Dancing with the Stars, Olympic gymnast Stephen Nederosik and his partner Riley Arnold are here. And listen to this. We're going to give you tips on how to improve your gut health so you can live longer because... What's the alternative to living longer? <laughs> yeah, okay. don't so want to do that. So it's something we all want. <laughs> all right? It's the reason you all showed up today. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Yes, lady, it's here. It's coming. It's time to play. Thompson from Cumming, Georgia, who watches the show on WSB. Good morning, Pamela. How are Good you? Good morning. I'm great. How are y'all doing today? You do. How how is how is that part of Georgia doing? Well, it it, it we were lucky where we are. We lost a few trees, but um, yeah, the flooding at the rivers are receding and everything. Good. So the flooding's getting better. But yeah, I, I have some family in North Carolina and South Georgia, and they they got hit really hard. Yeah, mm -hmm. sorry to hear that. Flooding. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, listen, you know how this game works. You've given us two statements. One is true, one is false. I have 60 yeah. seconds to decide which is the truth. And if you stump me, you'll win this. Oh. And that. Oh. All right, here are Pamela's two statements. I snorkeled for the first time in Panama. We've had a lot of those. I snorkeled the first time. Or I have seen Bon Jovi in concert more than 15 times. Same. All right, you're not, you're, but you're not from New Jersey, are you? No, I was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> and where did you see Bon Jovi? Always in Georgia? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, the different, the arenas have changed over time. Okay. I think it was the Omni first, and then oh, okay. yeah, all kinds of name changes. Yep. And Do you have a favorite Bon Jovi song? Oh yeah, um, Never Say Goodbye. I really like the ballad. 
Yeah. Mom. Never yeah. say goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right, tell me about snorkeling. You've never, you, growing up, you never did that once? It, well, yeah, I mean, well, I did it first down here, probably in my teenage years. Okay. Yeah. But this I, says you snorkel, you said, it said, this says I snorkel for the first time in Panama. Uh, Panama City, yeah. Oh, in for Panama City. Uh-huh. It's Panama City, oh, Florida. Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh, okay. oh, you thought that. Oh, oh no, no. we I thought you meant Panama. Panama. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not my Panama. Uh, That's, uh, Van uh, uh, That's Van uh, Halen. That's Van Halen. Okay, cool. Um, here's what I think. I think you snorkel for the first time in Panama City. Nope. Uh, you are wrong. <laughs> you are wrong, Mark. Nobody, that's never right. I'm gonna he slump. just can't win. I know. I can, if I was a baseball trade, uh, baseball player, I'd get traded. Yes. Aww. I'm so gonna I'm slump. Be careful. Well, listen. The good news is I'm in a slump, and you won the mug, and you won the T-shirt. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank now, you. Now let's see if we can win you a valuable trip. It's time okay. for great getaways travel trivia. <laughs> That was incredible, Devin. <laughs> From West Palm Beach, Florida. Are you, you're a professional dancer, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> you are now. That was amazing. Incredible. And remember, just because you're watching live from home doesn't mean you can't be our trivia dancer. All you have to do is record a video and show us your best moves, just like Devin here. <laughs> and go to livewithkellyandmark.com for all the details. Yes, Deja, you. let's uh, spin the wheel to see what else Pamela's playing. All right. Okay, you're playing for a trip for two to the Pineapple Beach Club in Antigua. Seven-day beachfront room. It's all-inclusive. It's a prize valued at $8,100. You have 20 seconds and only one mm. guest, Pamela. Good luck. All right, Pamela, Thanks. here we go. This week, we talked with Paul Reiser. Prior, yes. to this, prior to this year, in what year did Paul say he filmed his last comedy special? 1991. Yes! yes! Congratulations! You and the guests will enjoy seven days and six nights at Pineapple Beach Club, Antigua's most laid-back, all-inclusive resort. Fronted by a quarter-mile arc of powdery white sand beach, this adults-only hideaway features beachfront accommodations, five bars and restaurants, three pools, evening entertainment, and surreal waterfront dining. Your prize is valued at approximately $8,100. No, Congratulations, Pamela. Thank Good for you. you. So excited. Can I tell say one thing? I have to thank Mark because um, I jammed my little pinky finger uh -huh. and it bent down and it turned out it was mallet finger. <laughs> and and I knew what to do. I've got we went to the store and got a brace, I mean a, a splint before I could get to the doctor because so, I saw his finger on the show. <laughs> How long you, are you recovered or are you still wearing the splint? I, I finally got off the splint a couple weeks ago, but it's still a little tender, crazy. But yeah. um, it, and I'm just about to have my mobility back. Yeah, take it oh, easy. Yeah, be yeah. careful with it. Take. I, I like to add a little piece of tape around it for a while, just to you know ah, milk okay. the sympathy in the family. <laughs> yeah. 
Perfect. All right. Okay. Thank now you, you get to so make the day of a time. lucky member of our studio audience who will receive yes. a Roomba vacuum cleaner from iRobot. So please pick a number between 1 and 188. 170. 170. Yeah. When we return, Kate Winslet is here. Stick around. Still ahead on Live from Dancing with the Stars, Olympic gymnasts Stephen Natarosic and Riley Arnold will give you tips on how you're doing. Welcome back, everybody. Don't forget on Monday's show, oh my gosh, he just can't stay away from us. Ryan Seacrest will be here with his sister, Meredith Seacrest Leach. Yes. And also, we'll have more. Chestnut on the show. Mo. Mo, Mo Chestnut. Chestnut. All right. Now, she's an Oscar and Emmy winning actress who never ceases to amaze us with her brilliance. Please welcome Kate Winslet. <laughs> Yes. 2017 was the last time you were here. Probably, yeah. Pre-pandemic. Yes, I think that's true. Yeah, we're glad to see you in person. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for that lovely welcome. What a <laughs> wonderful... That was a, that's a proper New York welcome. Yes, proper. of course. Yes. You've said in your life, you said that life is too short. I mean, your life is too short, fate. Yes. 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 I, think that's I true. agree with that. But, you know, I have to say, I think... Creeping closer to 50, I'm excited. I feel like these are our best years, ladies. Let me We've tell got you, to make the life most of it. begins. Yeah, I completely agree. Yeah. It definitely begins at 50. Like, yeah. you think that you are settled in yourself when you hit 30 and when you hit 40, but when you hit 50, you really <laughs> don't actually care what other people think. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. It is. Liberated. It's true, and I also think we've, at this point, we've just lived so much life, and we know who we are, yes. and we know how important family is and yes. friendships are, and mm -hmm. I think those are the things that matter more than anything, 100%. and that, I think, gives us courage and strength and true. makes us resilient. Mm -hmm. um, you've had so many accents in your performances. Um, they look flawless. I mean, even, <laughs> you know, just... Your American accents are particularly good. Well, you know, very, the, the thing is very nuanced. I mean, <laughs> you do accents. You do accents that particularly are almost impossible for people to do who are outside of the area where they come from. Can I tell you that I actually know that because I'm the person doing it and I really find it impossible. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but it's, um, I, I do actually, I love doing accents and you can never stop learning mm -hmm. and, you know, there's always a new challenge and something new and, yeah, I, do, I, I, I get, a, I get a, a bit of a kick out of it. Mm -hmm. but yeah. I'm a little bit obsessed about it, but I should be good at them. I've been doing them since I was 21. I, know, I mean, there would be a problem but a if lot I couldn't people, do an American accent I've been by doing now. fake British accents my entire life and I'm still, uh, uh, at it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. They call it a hate crime. Yes, exactly. My <laughs> accents have been called hate crimes. Oh, no. Oh, that's yes, not very because nice. Because I'm so terrible at them. Oh, darling, I can teach you. It'll be okay. Really? Yes, of course. <laughs> that would be such an ego boost to have Kate Winslet, Academy Award winner, as my dialect coach. <laughs> yeah, I'll send you a little voice memo. Yeah, it'd be so amazing. You can, you can copy. Do you stay in it when, even when you're not on set? When you're... No, because I find that just a bit silly. Mm. I just, I, mm -hmm. And also, uh -huh. I care a lot about the crew and the people around me and want to make sure that everybody feels that they can excel in the jobs that they do and you know when you sort of have to have that energy and bring everyone with you for a great day of work and a long shoot I find I have to sort of be myself between takes so no I I, I, mm. I pop in and out of it I love that because I think that that would be very confusing 
Yeah, yeah. I, again, I've never, I've never uh, known any actors that have done this, but I think it would be tremendously confusing for an actor to maintain character all the time for everybody else involved. I, and I also think it's quite, it, it is quite exhausting. And I'd, mm. I, I'd rather just keep all of it for when mm -hmm. you've got to be on camera, really, hopefully delivering something that is interesting for people to watch. Yeah. And so, uh, so yeah, it's important, I think, to flip in and out of it. Do you have, you know, you've worked with, you've just worked with so many great people in the in the breadth of your career. Do you have a favorite co-star? Like, if you could only work with one actor for the rest of your life, who would it be? I mean, I have to say, when whenever I have been asked this question, I often think that people are assuming that the answer might be a male mm. co-lead, but... I have been the most inspired by the women that I've worked with, and I have to be honest, my absolute favorite is Emma Thompson, because oh, she's... Oh, yeah. 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 She's... I mean, she's, she's an incredibly important person in my life still today, and I'll never forget, I was 19 years old when I was cast in Sense and Sensibility, mm. absolutely terrified, couldn't believe I was there, kept thinking, oh no, they've read the wrong name off the list, and they just didn't really have the heart to say, look, you're really the wrong girl, and we've made a terrible mistake. I mean, I was convinced it was all a big setup. That, that's my whole career. I mean, that's, that's my whole that's career. That's called imposter syndrome. I mean, I still kind of slightly have that, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but Emma was absolutely wonderful. She made me feel like I'd earned my place at the table and she gave me really great pieces of advice like, I remember her saying to me post Titanic she said just remember it's equally as important not to work as it is to work mm. because I could feel that she was wanting to just take me under her wing and make sure I felt nurtured and supported and she's always been that person for me and so yeah I'm very grateful for and her. reminding you to have a full life that's right and yeah. and, and and priorities you know and mm -hmm. uh, and of course one has to hang on to that when you are a parent and um, yeah so she's 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 a very special person to me. She's Indeed. we're we're we are thrilled she exists. Yes. As we All right. We need to take a break. When we come back, we'll ask Kate how an antique table became a catalyst for her new film. Stick around. Still ahead. Nobody saw them. You didn't print them. Mm. There it is. That's a scene from Lee. Uh, you know, Mark. Mark teased this before a commercial break, but basically uh, uh, a purchase of a, an antique table led to the making of this movie can give yes so in 2015 I um, I had a, got a phone call from some really good friends of mine who work in the antiques business and they research interesting pieces that come in and they know how much I love to cook and share meals with family and they called and they said Kate there's this table that has come in and we really think you should bid on it and I said well tell me and it was a beautiful old table in the kitchen of a home that was shared by the man who became Lee Miller's husband Roland Penrose who's played by Alexander Skarsgård mm. in our movie mm. and and it was a table in the holiday home and Lee and Roland in the very beginning of their relationship shared many meals at this table. Lee was a great cook. She would cook at this table and they would entertain friends and artists and so on. I got the table and it arrived at my home and I sat down and I thought, my goodness, Lee Miller. Why hasn't anyone made a film about her? And that was the beginning of my journey. And her son, Anthony Penrose, who is in his 70s now, is the keeper of her archive, which is vast. And he only really discovered who his mother truly was after she had passed away in 77, 1977. He was a grown man. He had become a father for the first time and wanted to know if his newborn baby looked anything like he had done as a baby himself. And his wife said, go into that attic and look in those boxes and find a baby photo and he discovered 60,000 negatives and prints of everything his extraordinary mother had documented during World War II. And had not released? Uh, some of her images had been printed mm. in British Vogue because this was the thing. Lee Miller was a female photographer mm -hmm. and war correspondent at a time when women that were, they were right, not doing exactly. they weren't doing this job. So she fought to get herself there to the front line. She created this job for herself so she could go and document the hidden 
truths of the Nazi regime, but using a woman's eye. And Lee had been somewhat pigeonholed by history as being the former muse, ex-lover of Man Ray, ex-cover girl, former right. Vogue uh, model. A model. Yeah. Right. And this was a snippet of her life in her 20s. She hated being a model. She couldn't wait to get away from it. So I wanted to lift her out of the male gaze and put her firmly at the head of the table where she belonged as an, an, a pioneering war correspondent in middle age. She wasn't like some young hotshot. She was absolutely determined to reveal the truth and this decade of her life was by far her most defining yeah. and that was the story I wanted to tell. And, and taking those photos and documenting what the, the atrocities that she saw didn't mm. come without a price, yeah? No, it's true. I mean, so many people, I mean, everyone really who was a part of or witnessed World War II went home with terrible PTSD and Lee did not escape that. She had suffered a trauma as a child that certainly triggered a lot of her PTSD post-war and it made her have a difficult relationship with her son Anthony when he was just a small child. Because there was no vernacular for that, there was no PTSD. No, that's right and words, words like you know mental health etc, you know these phrases we use very comfortably now and we understand what that means but at that time no. Lee was one of those people who really just shrouded everything in a code of silence and did not talk about it. So it's extraordinary how beyond her death, her son really came to understand who she truly was and why she had been the way she had been as a mother. But he also learned what she did for women, lifting femininity up to mean resilience and power and compassion and strength and these phenomenal things that we live and, our life like that. Bravery. The women in the audience and live bravery. their lives like yeah, that now. Course, yeah, of course. Yeah. And Lee was already doing that 80 years Years ago for women. I'm so glad you bid on that table. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and let's not make it let's not make it seven years till you come back and see it. I know, I know. He is in theaters now. Next from Dancing with the Stars, Olympic gymnast Steven Metarosic and his partner Riley Arnold. Stick around. Monday on live. New You two. Yes. Uh, let's start with Stephen. You've had a busy couple of months. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you went from the Olympics. Congratulations, by Thank the you. way. <laughs> <laughs> Two medals. Two medals. Two medals. Then you went to the Emmys directly from the Olympics <laughs> and then right into Dancing with the Stars. Oh, yeah. It's been very busy, but I mean, I say it's part of my celebration. The Olympics were so fun and rewarding, but everything that's come afterwards has just been an honor and a pleasure. So you won the bronze for the pummel horse. By the way, that is so hard. <laughs> Let me just say, like, what are you saying to yourself the entire time? Like, legs, legs don't <laughs> Me now. Don't fail me now. Arms don't fail me. That was. This is me All of the impersonating. Above. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was really good. Yeah. Yeah. And you won another one for the team event. Yes. Yes, I did. And when you're fun. on that pommel yeah. horse, it is exactly what you're thinking. You are squeezing every part of your yeah. body, and anything like if everything in my head is just. Self positivity. You got this. Let's go. My coach is so good at it too. He hypes me up before I go. And man, I mean, it's just a blast representing my country. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was a, a thrill to watch. Have it's you had? Have you had a time to fully digest what's happened to you over the past few months? <laughs> Honestly, not really. Like some days I wake up and I'm like, man, I hope I'm an Olympian one day. And then I'm like, whoa, <laughs> I am. I'm an Olympian. <laughs> Right? It, no, it's seriously, it's like everything has just been so busy and back to back that it's just like, I have trouble digesting it. But I mean, seriously, it's just, it's all been so fun. And where do you keep your medals? Very good question. I always, always keep a right on me. That is a, and it's um, chic. It has Paris on it, too. Oh, yeah. So cool. Chic, chic, chic. All right, Riley. 
All right, yes. this is your second season. Uh, you're as one of the dance pros, but you've yes. been associated like with this a, show. You're like a baby dancer. Well, yes. the reason why I'm a little yes. one. You were associated at, before. How so? Yes, yeah, so my oldest sister, Lindsay Arnold, was on the show for sure. 10 seasons. So I've been around the show since I was like eight years old watching. It's always been my dream. I actually did Dance with Stars Juniors when I was 13 years old. Wow. Which was the kid version of the show, which was so fun. But yeah, it's always been my dream to be on this show. So the fact that I'm here for my second yeah, and season your so And cool. your, your sister was here last year. Yeah. Taught us the rumba. She taught us yeah. the rumba. Oh, I yeah. We, we were the, her most challenging students. Oh, I doubt that. I doubt that for sure. All right, Stephen, you work a lot of upper body on the pommel horse. Any experience with your legs and dancing? <laughs> for the last eight years or so, these legs have done nothing. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I've seen, they've done a lot. Well, they're starting to. <laughs> yeah. What's more nerve-wracking? You're about, you're going on, on the, uh, to, to do your event in the Olympics. You're, you're, you're competing for a medal or you're dancing in front of America. <laughs> Which is more nerve-wracking? Amazingly, they are quite similar. It is obviously a little more nerve-wracking when you have people relying on you to get a team medal. But, like, you know, I don't know how good I am at dance. I don't know how people are going to perceive it. So there is that nervous factor, and it's like, oh, man, this is all new to me. I might mess it up. Riley, Riley, do you ever want to make him just dance on his hands? <laughs> Literally. I'm like, wouldn't that be easier for you? Yeah, it seems like that's like, if that's your dominant body part, yeah. it might be easier to just do it, you know, upside down. Yeah, seriously, just in a handstand, honestly. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. yeah. And you and you're like huge on social media. Oh. You yeah. have uh, what the young people uh, ha call the TikTok. Yes. The TikTok. <laughs> You've got all the TikTok followers. Yes. Um, do you post your workouts together, your rehearsals? Yes. I love to share all of that online because it really is so fun, and I just want to like show how much fun me and Stephen are really having. And I love being able to have like an audience and people who are invested in our journey and people who really care and support us. So it's really fun to be able to I'm share that. I'm invested now. I'm, so I'm invested in your journey. I'm pulling for you guys. Thank are you, you. going to get the TikTok? I'm going to get the TikTok. Yes, you are. All right. He's going to follow one person. Yeah. Me. Stephen, I hear you're with at the Rubik's Cube. Oh. Uh, is this true? Yes, it is. I'm doing it over a your, your, your personal record is 8.64 seconds or something yes, like that? Yes, it Wait, is. Is that a real room it, yes, it fancy. Is. It's a fancy one. I yeah. use the fancy ones. All right, should we all try? Ready? On three. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Uh, wait, what are, yeah. we're supposed to get all the colors? It's, yeah. It's pretty much impossible. He's right. trying to teach me. This is I dumb. can't do it. This is, <laughs> <laughs> oh. this is the dumbest thing. He's no pressure, there. Steven. Oh, there we go. And just one more. Oh. oh. <laughs> How close did you guys get? <laughs> I got one here. almost color. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> All right, good, good luck, guys. Yeah, không nhảy xuống được. Để đi tham quan chút xíu đi rồi mình tháo quay lại làm nhiệm vụ đồ này kia các kiểu. À, hello các bạn nha. Thôi mình đi đây Chúc mình qua tới Ủa hay nha hồi nãy đi đường nào vậy Đi đường nào Ồ chiếc thuyền ngoài xa uh, Tôi đây nè Thứ đây Ai dạ Xin chết ác quỷ được không Không Tôi không có gì hết á Nè chắc đi lộn đảo Rồi vô đánh à Chạy cái vòng 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 Bụp Bình tĩnh, bình tĩnh, bình tĩnh Bạn này level 60 ư, mình nhiêu 62 hả? À? Được mà, được, 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 cân được
Sáu mươi đã là gì? Sáu Để mình đánh xong này mình gom mấy anh kia là đánh chung nữa Và thằng này chết Một nó chết hai mình chết Có gì đâu Đó Các bạn thấy mình lướt đẹp không Đó dáng đẹp không Chứng chỉnh đàng hoàng lúc này được như đó đó đẹp chứ bộ tiền 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 hồi nãy đánh một phải không bây giờ đánh hai nè <cười> 